What's up guys, welcome back to RPEG Electronics. I wanted to show you real quick what the difference is between a wide angle lens, a fisheye lens, and why we use it. So here I have a 32 inch screen, my Dunfer IR, all right? And that's what I wanna see. I wanna see a diamond with nice clear dots. Okay, I'm on custom balance sensitivity and tracking is working fine, but you'll notice that I'm only getting two dots usually when I move around because, well, the screen is pretty big and my gun can only see such so much of an angle. So to get a better performance, all right, depending on what gun you have, I'm gonna show you what it looks like when I put on a wide angle lens. So now you notice that my diamond got smaller. That's because I'm seeing a wider angle and my dots are still very solid, all right? So if you're at a certain distance that you're maybe about uh, three feet or four feet, this is good, this is pretty decent. A wide angle lens is good enough for you. But if you're at a big screen and you're even closer, or your big screen and you're close, like you wanna get, let's say you have a 32 inch screen, you wanna be 32 inches away, that's the maximum limit basically. Here's what it looks like with a fisheye lens. Ah, now the diamond has gotten even smaller and no matter how I move to the edges, it's still a diamond, all right? Which means I have perfect tracking no matter what, all right? And at this distance, my dots are still very solid because I'm very pretty damn close. But if uh, you're playing on a bigger screen with a little bit more distance, you might wanna change your sensitivity to custom high. So here, I wanna change it to custom high just to show the difference. Because by definition, a fisheye lens will zoom out, not in. And as you go further away, things get less bright. So here it is at custom high, all right? I got my dots are bigger. This is not needed for a screen this size, but this is just what you might wanna do for like big TVs, all right? Where the distance between the LEDs is further. All right, on a small screen, if you go too high, it's just gonna start bouncing all over the place, which you don't want, because it's, it's just detecting everything. So let's ch change it right back to a comfortable balanced upload. And now you'll see that calibration goes super easy with the fisheye lens, because it's seeing all four dots, no problem. And there you go, perfect calibration. All right, it's worth noting that when you try to calibrate, don't have your iPhone or your cell phone um, nearby on a table point at a screen because cell phones do emit infrared for their night vision and for their um, ear sensor. That's how they detect if you're, you're holding it up or you're putting it down. And that just, that just completely interferes because it's creating a new LED dot, which is in the wrong spot. Trust me, I made that mistake more than once. So don't put your cell phone nearby when you try to calibrate. All right? That's about it, and that's the difference between no lens, wide-angle lens, and a fisheye lens. All right, don't forget to like and subscribe.